and this key tip I want to talk about cleaning up your computer literally uh, what I've done here so I've taken out the side panel off of two computers to uh, give you a points of interest that you want to focus on when you uh, go ahead and clean out your computer with a can of compressed air uh, air compressor whatnot so let's go ahead and zoom in take a look at a couple points of uh, we definitely want to take a look at definitely we definitely want to take a look at the uh, cooling fins we've got to make sure the cooling fins inside this heat sink are nice and clean make sure that fan rotates real nice and freely so uh, you know clean off the blades on it we also want to clean up the air intake on the power supply here and if we have one on the bottom we definitely want to do it up there too so want to hit those with this in there definitely want to clean out the fan on the back if you have one make sure it spins, spins freely make sure all the blades are nice and clean as we go down here we definitely want to uh, take a look at the slots dust out all the slots dust out all the every heat sink you come across and get out everything out of the uh, inside of the case too you know pretty much go along clean up the complete backside of all the uh, hardware and uh, if your case does allow it you may find that you have uh, instructions on how to remove the front panel removing the front panel actually uh, is a helpful uh, to clean out all the uh, vent holes in the in front of the panel front of the case and also it, it collects a lot of dust you can actually take a look at this one here and you can actually see all the little areas that uh, collect dust on the back side so if you have that availability of, of uh, being able to take out the front panel I do advise it another thing I do up over in front Clean all of your uh, front panel connections, your SD card slots. Um, you know, if you have a floppy drive, do that too. Go around the back here. You do the exact same here. You want to hit your outtake, output of your uh, power supply, output of your case fan. You want to do all of your connections on the back side, blow them out, getting everything. Of course, on some systems, there, you have a little bit more going on with it. Of course, you always want to do the, the processor, the fan, the, the heat sink, all the uh, fins on the fan. Um, of course, your exhaust fans, heat sink, empty slots. Uh, here's another one you might think about. Uh, your video card has a heat sink or a cooling fan definitely want to hit that with some air get that cleaned up make sure that moves freely this system here has uh, dual fans up front we actually have a, a, a single speed fan here and a tri-speed fan there which creates a uh, wind tunnel kind of effect have another one down here make sure to clean them up make sure they move freely Make sure, of course, your power supply, get all of your uh, intakes, go around back, get all of your out, outputs, um, everything, fans, you would definitely want to do the back of your case, you know, back of all of these USB ports, and of course, when you come around front, In some cases, uh, you actually have air filters. So, uh, always remember when you take off the air filters, clean the fan behind it. You can actually see my fan back here. You, know, you definitely want to give that a good cleaning out too. Uh, of course, you know, get all your outputs on the front side. Yeah, you don't, eh, I wouldn't uh, go ahead and blow out the inside of that floppy, but, you know, it's six and one half dozen another, the floppy drives, but, uh, other than that, 
do that uh, every three to six months and uh, you should uh, have a, a clean cool running system all right for more geek tips go on over to geeksandphoenix.com all right talk to you later bye